Sondag, a well-known Afrikaans weekend tabloid-style newspaper, gave us an interesting challenge. We discovered a gorgeous girl that we want to use as a brand ambassador in future subscriber campaigns. But this unknown girl first needs to reach celebrity status. So take our girl Sonia and make her famous amongst our readers. Oh, and you've got three weeks. Okay, we said we'll just press this Make This Girl Famous button on our keyboard and voila. After a few seconds of an awkward silence, we said we'll make a plan, and we hurried out of the boardroom. So, how the f*** do you make someone famous in only three weeks, in Afrikaans? Actually, it's easy. You create a scandalous campaign, worthy of a true British-style tabloid. And the main ingredient... A 40-something-year-old virgin with a perverted streak and a video camera living next door to a very sexy 20-something-year-old girl with a stack of bikinis and no money for curtains. Luckily, our imaginary 40-something-year-old virgin, Pete Bester, works from home. Otherwise, he might never have spotted and filmed his sexy neighbour, Sonia, dressing, undressing, exercising, swimming, tanning topless and going about her daily tasks in the bare minimum of clothing. You know, as all women do. Pete then created www.maybirfro.coza, the girl next door, and started posting the voyeuristic videos of Sonia. He also posted, sometimes rude and sexist, comments for each video, making use of Facebook, Twitter and emails to friends and networks. The word was put out there, and the message spread like wildfire. Apparently, all you need to make men extremely excited and women completely demuren is sensual voyeuristic videos of a 20-year-old. We created a whole life for Pete, from a Hotmail account to a Facebook and Twitter profile. He even had his own cell phone number. Sondag naturally picked up on this scandalous site and wrote three articles. Sondag's readers started frequenting the site and, of course, also used the site's blog to leave their comments, good, bad and ugly. The comments varied from people who wanted to beat Pete silly to people who wanted to buy his house so that they could live next door to Sonia. People started speculating about whether the videos are staged or whether they were real, whether Sonia was an innocent young girl or whether she was playing along. But whether you lusted over Sonia or just felt sorry for the poor lass, she became quite famous. Pete's Facebook profile kept us very busy with people wanting to be his friends. Within days, he had more friends than some of the real people in the office. The tweets on Twitter, of course, were out of control. Someone sourced his email address from a domain information site just to be able to contact him directly to find out who Sonia is. His cell phone number was also sourced and leaked on the site by people who wanted him locked up for perving on Sonia. Some visitors were so against poor old Pete that they created a Stop Sick Pete group on Facebook. The May Birfro site became so popular, we had to move the site to an international server to be able to handle the traffic. Sondag's SMS lines also worked overtime, with some cheering Pete on and others angry and feeling sorry for Sonia and her loss of privacy. In the end, our Make This Girl Famous button on our keyboard worked almost too well. The site became one of the top 1,300 largest sites in South Africa. We had over 900,000 hits and used over 150 gigabytes of bandwidth, all this in only a couple of weeks. Sonia became famous amongst the Sondach readers and beyond, and has a bright future ahead of her. And as for Pete, he's still busy reading his hate mail.